What's up, YouTube? What up, friends and family? It's your boy Kenny Lucas back at it with another video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Let's build a network. Let's build a community. You know what I mean? We're, we're just the, uh, the dream creators of society. We don't take no bullshit, man. Like, I've been getting a lot of these quotes in, like, oh, you keep it real, you keep it real. Of course I keep it real. That's the only way I know. Um, that being said, I do want to touch base on a subject. When we tell the truth, and it's kind of like we get condemned for fucking up because we tell the truth. So never agree with that. Never agree with like, oh, fuck, I did this. I told them the truth. And then in, in, in return, I don't have their relationship anymore. You know what I mean? You never want to um, be so hard on yourself in the fact that like, oh, you had to ruin a relationship over the truth. That's not your fault, homie. That ain't your fault. Yes, there are circumstances. I'm not talking about telling the truth to a fucking cop or when you're in prison and shit goes down. Don't tell the truth in that circumstance because you get your ass killed or get your ass cut up. But um, I'm talking about like in just civilian life. You know what I mean? It, it just comes to a circumstance that people really can't handle the truth. I wanted to make this video because I was over here listening to some Lil Wayne, something you forgot, one of the uh, breakup songs, whatever, because I've been going through it, your boy's been going through it, you know, this, is, this isn't no easy fucking ride, you know what I mean, being with a girl for a year and then not being with her, like, come on, y'all, it's not easy going through a breakup, especially somebody like me, I like to take care of people, I like to treat them well, I want to see them do better than I do, you know what I'm saying, so that's what really hurts when somebody leaves me, but anyways... I was like, well, I was just thinking right now, I was like, thinking in the past, thinking like, oh, well, maybe if I didn't tell her the truth of me and how I feel towards women and how uh, this and that, and what I told her was this, that this is what I started regretting saying um, in my, in my, before I made the video, and that is this, I was like, Rachel and I, we sat down, and she's like, are you happy, like, you know what I mean, like, we're going through one of these discussions, uh, whatever, I was like, well, to be honest, like, I would like to have some sort of, like, open relationship, where I can get with, like, other women, you know what I mean, like, the possibility could be there, maybe we could run a threesome or something, if you're down with that, just talking, just talking my mind, something I've been holding back the whole time, the whole relationship, that's my fault, that's definitely my fault, you know what I mean? I find that um, if you are that way, you do want to have multiple girlfriends or at least be hooking up with multiple girls, you got to be honest with the other partner off the rip. I wasn't. I really wasn't. But at the same time, I didn't. I, I, I really just wanted her too. So, I mean, I was just kind of keeping that, like, those thoughts hidden because I don't want to be condemned. I don't want to be judged in the truth. Um, and the thing that people don't get is this, that like, we don't always act on the truth either, you know what I mean? I'd rather somebody, like my girlfriend, tell me, I'll go, yeah, I wanna like, get with multiple guys, than not tell me the truth and just hold it back, you know what I mean? Because I, I find if she tells me the truth about that, then it kind of loses its power, you know what I mean? It's like, does she even really wanna get with guys? Because when I say that to Rachel, after I said it, I'm just like, do I even really want to get with girls? It's not like I had girls lined up. It's not like I had fucking numbers lined up on my phone or anything like that. It was just like this fantasy in my head that I was telling her. So, I don't know. In my eyes, I don't think we should condemn ourselves for telling people the truth in that manner. It's tough because we do want to keep people around, but... In today's world or today's society, I don't know how it was in the history, but it seems like we like to lie to each other to get friendship. And I don't like that, man. I, it's like, why do we gotta lie to each other just to have a friendship? Just to have, you know what I mean? I just like to tell people the truth, man. You know, like in different circumstances, whatnot, I, I try not to lie as much as possible because I, I feel like that's that's good karma. You know, like I said, there are circumstances where you do have to lie so you don't get your ass in trouble. Um, but if it's not that, then it's just like you're in fear of losing somebody over the truth. And they need to hear the truth. That's the thing. They need to hear the truth. They might not hear back from you ever again because they might not reach out because they're too bitch made to even handle the truth. But um, you don't want to be around people that can't handle the fucking truth. 
You really don't. Like, it, once you start telling people the truth, how you really feel about them, how you tell your boss how you really feel about them, see what he's made of. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be careful with that one too, because you, then again, you don't want to outshine the master. But um, I look at myself as the master, so I outshine everybody. Um, it's just like I don't know. I, I give respect when it's due. Obviously, I definitely do. I give respect when it's due. When but when somebody, you know, they're on like some sort of higher level than me, but I can see, you know, they're um, slipping up. You know, I'm not afraid to say something about it. I really am not. That's just like uh, in my apartment building we're living at now. I got two apartments with the dude. Um, originally, I started working for the dude. You know what I mean? We did snow removal properties for the guy. Then it came down to I was like, hey, I need an apartment. You got something for us? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, we can. You know, we can put you in this and that. I'm like, ah, oh, cool. You know, one thing led to another, and um, I found that he doesn't like to take care of his apartments the way say I would as a landlord as a, a business owner and you know I let him know my mind about that I was like yeah man like you're not doing a good job at all and then he fucking freaked the fuck out um which was funny as fuck because he wants to he wanted to scream at me over the phone instead of me to meet up at the coffee shop or meet up at the office type shit. Like, I even invited him, hey, let's go get a coffee and talk about this, man, like, before that happened. And then he fucking called me at 7 a.m. screaming. I'm like, that's the epitome of somebody who cannot handle the truth. They cannot handle the fucking truth. They just want to lie to you. They want to lie to themselves. They want to lie to others. And that drives me nuts, man. I can't fucking lie. I can't lie to myself. I really cannot lie to myself. That's why I have no problem when I wake up in the morning, if I'm feeling like a bitch, I'm calling myself a bitch. That's why I have no problem. If I see somebody else fucking up and they're being a bitch, I'm gonna call them a bitch. You know what I mean? It's it's not because I want to fight you. I really don't want to fight you. Um, if we we're in prison again, I wouldn't be calling people bitches because that means you want to fight. Um, but dude, it's just like handle the fucking truth, man, and get past it. How are you supposed to get? How are you supposed to get anywhere without first starting with the truth? Like, the truth is, like, your foundation for a building, right? Um, I'm trying to build a fucking mega mansion, dude. You know what I mean? I'm trying to have that that foundation solid as fuck. You know, I find a lot of people, these they're just trying to build, like, the double-deckers and shit. Or the, uh, the raised ranches. I don't want to build no raised ranch, man. I want a fucking... I want a helicopter. I want a private jet. <laughs> you think I'll get a private jet and a helicopter off fucking... Lying. I could. I could get a helicopter and, you know, all these good things, these material things off lying. But you see it all the time. The people that do lie to get to the top, look at themselves. Look at themselves behind closed doors. Guarantee fucking to you, they're miserable. They're probably fucking miserable because their conscience is eating them up, saying, like, oh, you did this, you lied. You know, they might not be saying they're lying because they might not be conscious of lying. But I guarantee you, they're not fucking happy. That's for sure. Because I know, for me personally, when I'm not telling the truth, when I'm lying my way through life, I'm not fucking happy at all. That was back when I was using, man. You know what I mean? Like, I had to drink just to fucking keep up with my lies. Like, that's that's the cycle, man. That's why when I see a drinker or a drug user, I'm like, he's got to be lying about something. You know what I mean? I know he's lying about this goddamn drug abuse because he just keeps doing it, man. And he knows that it's, it ain't no good for him. I find that it does take a while to build this atmosphere of people around you not lying to your face. But it will come. You know what I mean? It slowly but surely will come. Because I use, I live my life as a liar for a long time. For a long time. I'm not talking about lying about big things. You know, there was a time where I was lying about big things all the time. But even like everyday things. Like lying. Like waking up in the morning and not hitting the gym. Oh, I'm still strong. Lie. You're a fucking liar. Like, you're a fucking liar. Like, stop being a fucking liar. Oh, I'm going to work out next week. Liar. Like, stop being a fucking liar, man. I feel good about myself. No, you don't. You're a fucking liar. You got to go to the gym first to feel good about yourself. You know what I mean? Stop fucking lying, dude. Oh, it's okay if I only drink on the weekends or, you know, do this. No, that's a lie. You know what I mean? Like, we're so, like, conditioned 
to believe these lies. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not okay to lie. Like I said, you don't want to build a foundation off lying. And because once you build that foundation off lying, then you realize what you've done. You have to go knock down that building, knock down the foundation, and then rebuild a fucking new foundation. Um, that's why I really hope somebody younger than me gets this, man. Or even if you're not younger than me, just get it and start moving forward from today. Because, like... Like I said, I've lied throughout my life and I don't, I'm not proud of fucking the lies I've made or anything like that, you know what I mean? But then again, I have had to work up to this point. This past year, year and a half, I feel like I've been using, living a very good life. Uh, I'm not going to say lie free because it has not been lie free, but you know, it's getting close. So in return, God has given me people that tell me the truth now. You know what I mean? I don't want no fucking bullshit. I really don't. I don't want people like when I when I say like, oh hey, do I look good in this or whatever? It's like if I don't look good in this, like tell me I don't look good in this. Don't be like, oh yeah, it's good. Just because you'll think I'll get fucking butt hurt over spending whatever money I spent on the clothes I'm trying to look good in. Like I don't care. I, I care about the truth. I don't care about clothes. I don't care about money. I care about the truth. And it's like, that's the same thing. When somebody makes food, I feel obligated to tell them the truth how I feel about the food they make. I feel straight, point blank obligated because um, I want the same return. I cook from time to time and I'm like, yeah, don't lie to me about the quality of my food or whatever. Just tell me the fucking truth about it. Then we can move forward. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and tell you that your food is fucking great when your food's fucking trash. You know what I mean? Because the market will tell you if nobody else will and I just you know like if your food's trash great it's it's fucking trash if it's not great I mean if it's great I'm gonna tell you it's great you know what I mean that's how you know I'm being sincere like stop getting your feelings hurt about fucking not doing a good job on shit man like you want people to lie lie to you instead I, I, I don't I don't I don't really understand I really don't understand people that would rather just be lied to it doesn't make any sense all right, with that, I got to follow the GPS now, so I got to go. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Peace.